What do you get when a feminist tries to use logic? A straw man argument. You know what type of arguments really piss us off? Appeals to nature fallacies. I've used the term feminist hypocrite so many times that I'm beginning to think the words are synonymous. So I am entirely unsurprised to see this edgy, needlessly aggressive male feminist simultaneously hate a specific argument into fallacy while using as many fallacies in his own argument as humanly possible. The idea that because it exists in nature, it must be good and worth preserving. This is a really infantile misunderstanding of human development and social evolution. Appealing to ridicule is an informal fallacy, especially when you don't provide any evidence of why the thing you're ridiculing should be ridiculed, which you don't. In this view, men are the physically stronger and probably dumber versions of women. Sexual dimorphism expresses itself in intelligence by making male IQ more distributed, meaning that there are more male geniuses and more male idiots than women. You've decided to dodge this evidence by making an emotionally manipulative straw man, which is two fallacies, both a straw man and an appeal to emotion. As we know from the study of fetuses, is the default form of humanity. The clitoris turns into the penis, the ovaries become testicles. Where do you think those nipples came from, boys? And most ironic of all, you have literally just made the appeal to nature fallacy. Implying that the so-called default nature of the fetus, hello Valerie Salinas, gives your argument any credence when there is no causal link between this natural state and the conversation we're having is an appeal to nature. So really, I have one question for you. What the fuck are you doing? The fascinating thing about this to us is that this facile argument is usually posed by men's rights activists who whine incessantly about how difficult men have it in male-dominated societies. Ow, the edge. Oh, and I almost forgot to mention. You've graduated from the informal to the formal fallacies because implying that men having it bad is mutually exclusive from being in a male-dominated society is a non-sequitur. As an aside, I'd love to see how you explain away the draft as something being more harmful to the women holding the white feather than to the boy holding the bloody rifle. We will now address these people directly. Listen here, you neo-Darwinist pricks. I just fucking hate you. Neo-Darwinist pricks. I'm feasting on its cup. The only difference between your demented thinking and that of the religious woman haters is that the religious use obsolete holy texts to justify their sexism. You use obsolete science. Does he look like a citation? What? Slaves to biology, each of us in our own way. But more to the point, slaves to those who would make biological imperative law. That's what you're fighting for. When you're done attacking your straw man argument, perhaps you'd like to provide some citations to show how women and men are exactly the same in every way and there is no difference in the way our brains operate. Something that would defeat my previous citation and this study by Penn Medical showing how the brain connectivity of the genders are completely different. We, each of us, must prove our worth through accomplishment, not mere accident of birth. If this is what feminists want, then why are they lobbying for gendered quotas and affirmative action? And why do feminists believe in the wage gap myth? Let me explain. Feminists believe that men and women are the same. So therefore, any differences between the outcomes in the home or in the workplace is due to sexism. Of course, this is a really infantile misunderstanding of human development. The fact is that men and women have different proclivities. They are equal in value, but different. And in this context, talking about the differences between men and women is not an appeal to nature, but an appeal to facts and evidence. It would just be so ironic if someone tried to explain this to you and you retorted with an ad hominem attack. 